Let me do it like this. Ready? All right, what are they doing? Here we go. Here, I'm going to do it like this. All right, Kiana. Sedge. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No reason to... Well, yeah, whatever. Never mind. I won't comment about Kiana. Could just be lack of experience for both of the teams playing against her. Finulo, uh, Fino Lol underscore. Thank you for stopping tier one. Yumi. And now, why the fuck are you banned on Lucian? Jesus Christ. Gragas. I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm assuming that. Uh... All right, Zaya. What the fuck? All right, let's see. Those are the bands. And now, what's the first pick gonna be? Let's take a look at the first pick. First pick will be bad. All right. It's gonna be Kaisa. And now they're gonna they're gonna hand it over and they're hovering a Kali. Kai's is such an awful first pick. She's she's black blue. She's meant to disrupt team composition. She's not an outright pick. Just because she feels good and she scales late doesn't mean that you outright pick her because she fundamentally falls apart to certain team comps. And now they go a Kali GP. Okay. And so now, if you can, you pick Jace, but uh, I'm going to assume that Omni just can't play it. Instead, they're going to do Silas, and they're hovering Thresh. So now you just respawn Morgana if you if you have if you if you have a uh, if you have a brain and behind you know but inside of your skull. And no, nope, we don't. We don't. Instead, we're going to pick Tom Kench. That's cool. Some people are probably thinking that, like, Morgana Ultimate for Silas is really nice and whatnot, but realistically, Morgana just ruins all three of the champions by herself right now. I mean, there's some other support champion. I mean, Tom is a support champion pick, but it's not one that you should really want. It you just have so much more potency and offensive options if you end up choosing Morgana, and it lets you cover more angles with uh, what they can do in top and jungle, or even mid, if they consider the Silas flex. So, bans are... Why is a Jin getting banned? What the fuck? Mickey, is that you in chat? Zyra here, Pog? Unfortunately, Thresh is fucking locked in. Otherwise, it would be a pretty Poggers moment. Well, not entirely, though. Because GP, but whatever. Why is Jin getting banned? Why is Jin Varus getting banned? J4 Nar, that doesn't make any sense either. The 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 J4 Nar. Why do you care about J4 and Nar when you have? Okay, well I guess if you want to pick Olaf because you don't know what you're doing, uh, then you ban Jarvan. But it doesn't make any sense. They have Thresh, Silas, and Kaisa. They have three champions that want to go in on you. And the way that Splice are looking at this is, oh, we want to ban champions that want to go in on us, rather than just being like, let's let the champions come in on us, and then have champions that ruin champions that come in on us. That's really weird how that works. It's really, really strange. And because the fourth pick is the strongest pick in the entire draft phase for red side, fourth pick is by far, in a way, the strongest slotted pick that can ever come in. If you had Morgana already, then you just choose an ADC that outscales Kai'Sa. Literally almost any one. Even, even if I would flame it, you would just choose it, and everything would be fine. And then they show you their next two options. And I'm not even going to look at the, the remaining champions, because they all just make no fucking sense. They, they're just absolutely devoid of logic and thought. Um, so the Nara and the Jarvan end up getting banned away. And then you pick an Olaf. You, you pick an Olaf with an Akali and a, and a fucking Gangplank. 
you have two mid-rangey champions that want to just go later. So you can choose any jungler that has mid-rangey purpose. You no, know, no. Here, I'll do you one better. You could have let them pick Jarvan, and then you could have picked Rek'Sai, you could have picked Orn, you could have picked... Well, they probably don't play jungle Orn. There are so many different situations where you incentivize them to keep picking their divey, engagey kind of champions, and you still get the better end of a match or a counter jungler that is able to aid your superior scaling champions because the enemy fucked up the draft in the first three picks. I'm so salty right now. I'm, I'm molding. I didn't watch the NA Gauntlet yet. I was supposed to do that on stream yesterday, but I slept 18 hours. The coaches aren't drafting, probably. Hi, NA Soul Papa Smith. Are you trying to sub or what? None and only. Thank you for subbing Twitch Prime for two months. And Nikki TT underscore. Thank you for tier one for two months as well. Hi, the Kenya 99. Trying to give me your Twitch Prime or what? The game's frozen. Why is the game frozen? Or is my stream frozen? Did my internet die? No, okay, we're fine. All right, hold on. I can't miss this. I'm not a boomer. Set and start. Hey, 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 I'm fucking, I'm on time. Hi, the Kenya 99. All right, Ono Omne is going to die here. What? I guess they don't want to go flash. Oh, hold on, wait. If they go flash for flash, they kill Karma, they get her TP, and then GP. Yeah, I mean, flash for flash, there's fine. What? Flash for flash is literally fine. I don't know. Because Olaf doesn't need it early. He really doesn't need it early for anything. And then because you're going to be starting on the blue side jungle anyway. You know that your Olaf is even safe from anything that would happen early. That's really that's really bizarre. The timer's not wrong. Your timer and mine can't really line up unless you use YouTube. Oh yeah, stop shaking my leg. Fuck. Tom should, uh, wait, what? Why would you flip the whole game? Not the whole game, but why would you flip the whole early jungle on, on something like that? That just seems awful. And I'm mostly talking about uh, Shalka. That obviously really sucks. So Trundle's going to transition now into Golems, and Trundle really feels the pain from doing stuff like this. I mean, Golems isn't that bad of a clear. And remember... Uh, depending on how Xerxes now, why didn't Xerxes do his Gromp after? All right, so here's the thing. Here, here's the bad thing about not doing the Gromp. Okay, um, Xerxes won the blue, and then he transitioned immediately into Wolves. He has absolutely no responsibility to be in top lane right now because there is no conceivable universe where Trundle, without a blue buff, can actually make it to top lane and somehow pressure for Zachachi. It's just not fucking humanly possible. And then, even by the time Trundle could get up there, he can't have just farmed the fucking camps and somehow showed up with level 3 and then magically get up there before Gangplank would be able to have the lane in a position where he can just live, okay? Now, we see what Xerxes is doing here, where he goes over, he does the wolves, he finishes his red side camp, and now he wants to invade the blue. The problem with this is that the priority state in mid and top is really, really important. And even though he's invading, you can obviously see that this is influencing other lanes. Now, he's pulling away the mid laner, but when he 
Ah, oh, Jesus, hold on. Now we have a fight down in bottom. Looks like Kobe is just going to die. And now we have a teleport coming out from fucking Akali, and everything is just absolutely catastrophic. Ignar still has Flash on him. Humanoid trying to get in there on upset. They end up actually getting the kill. Ignar landing the fucking hook, and now really good tanking by Norskaren. And holy mother of fucking God. Now, upset has teleport available. He's probably going to use it onto... Where is he going? He's actually going top lane. They're at... Uh, wait, no, he's not. Wait, what is going on? Silas is going mid. Oh, Upset's just not even using it. He's actually using it really late. But anyways, the the thing about Olaf's clear, right? So he's level 3. When he ends up going and eating his level 1 uh, Krugs and his level 1 Gromp, um, he's getting... He's going to get a total of 60% uh, less XP from the two camps. He's actually losing a camp. because, or Well, actually, it looks like he didn't get the level 4 because he didn't commit to the gank up in top lane. So he's only level 3. So he's, he's only losing 50% XP from the two camps. Kai'Sa is top lane? Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. This whole game is just random. <laughs> From the from the from the Olaf path from the from the Trundle pathing into the Olaf pathing into the the random teleports and Kaiser's not top lane, Kaiser's bot. I don't have game volume on. What? Hi Weehawk, thank you for twenty two months. Mike muted. All right. What are we doing next? Yeah, on another note, how hard is it to get into MTG Arena? Not that hard. Everything's free. And the generic starter decks that you can unlock for free are also okay to, like, sort of just mess around and have fun with. And then all you have to do is really farm gems to farm gems and gold to, to do the uh, the drafts. That's pretty much it. You guys are being really rude. Xerxes Zerxe starting the Infernal Dragon. Why does it just look like uh, Splice is on an entirely different level from uh, Shulk? Why why is Shulk walking up to this Infernal like they have any business contesting it? What the fuck am I watching? The 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 clear level gaps that must be existing in Shalka to make these calls. What are they doing? Like, can I screen cap this? I don't. No, I can't screen cap it. It's too late. Why were they ever walking up to the dragon? There is no universe. Anything ever turns out okay. All right, I mean, yeah, here goes the tweet. From, like, the fact that this is a match that can decide who goes to Worlds and one of the teams is playing like this, I mean, this is, this is legitimately scary. This is, it is such a one-sided pub stomp is what it looks like. It really does look like that. Infernal Dragon picked up for the vastly superior scaling team composition. Vastly fucking superior. It's not even fucking close. So, so Europe sending two teams this year. Korea sending three. Uh, what is NA sending? One. NA sending one, right? 
<laughs> like a half? What does that mean? <laughs> I I liked reading some of the Reddit threads though. I liked I liked reading some of the Reddit threads where some people were like and it could take games off anyone. I'm like uh <laughs> Well, that's a really weird ID, I guess, coming from a wild card region. I don't, I've never heard of that team before, but <laughs> Jesus Christ! And then the diehards that fucking—they're like, "Didn't you watch MSI? They three zeroed IG." I'm like, yeah. But they did. I love it. All right, so game number two is over. What do you guys want to talk about? Because this is looking like a 3-0. Like, Appendix just got a kill up in top lane, but... I don't... I don't... <laughs> that doesn't really change a 7,000 gold deficit in an Infernal Drake. Oh yeah, group group draw. <laughs> group draw is coming. Oh wait, this, uh, okay. Human red lived. How do you go about learning how to draft? Play any TCG where drafting is a a thing, and then watch top drafters and why they give the reasoning that they do. And then just realize that ultimately league units are just cards that play in real time. That's that's all that it is. League of Legends is just cards that play in real time. No, not TFT. Because TFT is... Ver like, I don't know how to explain this. I, gu I guess it, it it's sort of like TFT, but obviously TFT is infinitely less deep than something like Magic. Did TFT really die, by the way? I never see... Kind of... What, group draw is 23rd, isn't it? <coughs> Sorry. Oh man. To pick Axe Kai's is standard, guys. LOL MMO would like I was talking with Max about a LOL MMO um the other day. I was I was basically saying like so I think the way that they would do it if they made an MMO is that you would have to choose a main a main class and then a secondary spec or something. Do you know what I mean? Like you'd have to choose Enchanter. Or you'd have to choose Juggernaut. Or you'd have to choose something like that. And then I imagine that they would do some sort of like fucking Final Fantasy X grid type shit. That would allow you to spec and talent certain ways and whatnot. But I don't know. Oh man. Alright, yeah. Mount Mountain Dragon's up. But let's just fucking summon the Herald immediately. Although, wait. Did they take it at exactly 10 minutes or something? I guess that would sort of make sense. But still even not really. They got 15 plates, so... Splice have the well-fed bonus this game. I wonder if anyone on Shalka hates each other. That's a, that's a very interesting team dynamic when it ends up happening. I've never personally... Well, I mean, I've been on teams where players at certain points hated each other, but I've never been on a team where um, it was allowed to exist for longer than just a few days.
or like a week or something. Do you know what I mean? Upset is molding. Trick does not look happy. Why why the fuck is he continuing to build proto belt? What are you fucking doing? Jesus Christ. Proto Proto Belt is literally an early game accelerant item. It is a mid rangey item that if you get it early and your team has control and you have first action on things, and you're accelerating, and you need to have pressure in order to accelerate, and yada, 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 you go proto belt. But if fucking laning phase is just going fine, and you know that the main intent of your team comp is to mostly scale into other items, why in any world are you getting it? Why are you getting it when your Karma and your Kaiser is so fundamentally mismatched with your items, when they would be intending to fight. What is the thought process? No, it doesn't matter what he buys at this point. But I'm just pointing out that the, the proto belt thing happens all too often. Oh, man. What should we get his head of Oh man, do you guys remember Mobifier? Mobifier was the shit. Alright, Akali's here. Minion just saved the day. Do you guys know how insane Lol King was? Lol wait, does Lol King still exist? It doesn't, right? Lol wait, Mobifier still exists? Okay. So Lol King in 2017. They paid two hundred and fifty dollars for a guide. What? Isn't that sick? I think that's sick. Oh my god. So, uh, I had a friend that was just, like, challenger that he made a few guides for them. Even I mean, not a name person at all. He's never even played competitive. Uh, but he made a few guides for them. He made, you know, I mean, he made, he made okay money, you know? Mike is windy. I'm sorry. I have a fan behind me because I'm sweating really bad. Is it better now? Skill cap paid two hundred dollars per educational video when they started out. I think they paid much higher than that. I know their videos now cost like seven hundred or something, seven hundred, seven hundred fifty. But that includes the uh, the team that goes into making it, not just the uh, the edu content creator. Oh, skill cap's been around since season four. That's actually pretty nuts. Hold on, let me move the fan. Oh god, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I just want fucking. I want candy or something. I'm going on. I'm. I'm starting a. I'm starting. There's these. There's these like. Asian noodles that per 150 grams or something of them is 20 calories, and you just mix it with rice. And eggs, and then I drink protein shakes, and it's gonna be oh god, fucking, it's gonna be great. I plumped up the last like two months. I'm Porky Pig. It's all right. I look like I haven't slept in forever. That's not nice. I slept eighteen hours. Why is this game happening the way that it is? I feel like when games are like this, and I can't show. 
the game on the screen to point out stuff by like drawing and whatnot, and it's just my voice complaining about what's happening. It's less exhilarating. You know? It's like why why are they posturing down there in this manner? Why is this the end result? Can Jinx just get a GA instead of getting the uh the lifesteal? I don't I don't know why she doesn't need the lifesteal, she just needs GA and the game ends. How can I willingly stay asleep for eighteen hours? It's pretty fucking easy. I just think well, do I wanna be awake? You know, that's pretty easy. It's not dark at all. You don't have... Well, I came off of like 10 days of um, lots of working with casting and like the, the four hours of commuting every other day. So I, I guess I was just really, really tired and exhausted from all of that, and so I just slept for 18 hours. How have I been feeling about my casting lately? I mean, I felt really good, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. I felt really, really good with casting, and I, I mean, I have objective data that I can go off of like um like Twitch Twitch chat analytics and Reddit comments and Reddit threads and uh various stuff that's said in like lots of different large discords so you know well objective data like Twitch chat I mean like looking at the LCK chat when I'm casting You know, no analyzing Twitch chat sort of is. Uh, it is something. The NALCS casting stuff about um. Getting super hyped at poor gameplay or something, I. I mean, I, I, I can't speak at, like, what is it? Is it something that is consciously talked about? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Harry Gummy Worm, at MLS. I'm so sorry, no offense, but I have sex with your mother IRL. <laughs> I'm surprised you could find her. I haven't been able to. Well, you do let me know how she's been. And I am sorry for you. Usually in WoW, you have to be a certain level to attempt to tame the wild beasts. But seems you got that under control. Leveling much faster than I am. Meanwhile, down here, though, in bottom, Splice has finally penetrated the base. <laughs> oh man. Talk about Pokemon. <laughs> well, I'm actually really excited for the next Pokemon. Like, really, really, really excited for the next Pokemon. Because I found out today that apparently WoW's phases are like three months. So, whoever decided on the phasing out. Uh, or, or whoever decided on like three month phases for WoW and how Battlegrounds and stuff is just not in WoW yet. I mean, it's this the guy has to just fucking. What is he thinking? Actually, what is he thinking? Classic is not dead already. Come on. Do you guys really think that? Do you guys really think Classic is dead?
normie hype is dying, people just don't get it. All right. Splice goes up 2-0 inside of the series. Like, how how do you guys connect with these? Um, th this is something I'm actually very interested in. How do you guys connect with these personalities, right? Because I'm assuming that they, that they don't stream, right? That they, they don't stream. That is very fucking healthy food. That is the most anti-American fucking desk I've ever seen. Holy shit. That is one of the sickest desks. Oh my god. Those are just fucking fruits. All right. Let me thank subs. Let me let me thank subs. <laughs> 